good morning everyone hi assalamualaikum so today will be um the discussion about support vector machine part, two, part number two in this particular video basically i will be uh discuss about the introduction this this and that is basically happened to be covered on um yesterday uh session so i think this will be part one so I straight away jumping to the page 12 for today. Okay, this uh, video basically a bit about introduction of um, support vector machine. The one that we did uh, discuss yesterday was about this. SVM is supervised. Okay, again, I repeat, this will be supervised machine learning algorithm that can be applied for both classification and regression purpose but mainly in for this particular SVM, they are commonly used for the classification for two class whereby it would be happening for multi-class via the two idea over and over okay right so the most important thing happened to be in svm is uh, to find the hyperplane right so this keyword terminology of hyperplane will be the most important for the differentiate the two classes so the class this and that in some thoughts or some um regulation of svm they they said that this is minus one and my plus one so the high plane whereby they stated as a zero okay so meaning to say that when uh when we train the data that we have in our hand and we have the model of SVM. So let's say we put a new data to be here, for example. Okay, okay, sorry. So I will change the green one for uh, simplifying the, the reason. So let's say this is the new one. Data has been tested. So this one is the uh, um, position of X and Y for this particular, let's say uh, one and three, right? So this um, new location for new data, if we put it in the one that we have uh, bias over here for the one that we did discuss in regression is, 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 is similar okay so at the end of the day this y value is basically minus one so this is reflect to the class owned by this side okay so this particular new data so eventually the same idea will be go through when we have a new data over here so let's say this is what is this uh okay this is three one guys not one three so this is six and let's say three so if we put this value to that this particular the same uh model so the y it could be for the um blue new data is plus one okay or rather than one rather the 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 the, the, the idea of data is more than that hyperplane so that would be things to be considered in svm right to do this um the uh, the most important thing is but uh, the hyperplane how we separate the data a and b or b and c or c or d so the idea is to find the optimal hyperplane to categorize the new example okay right so this keywords over here the new example means a new data so i just mentioned earlier this one is the a new data and this also for the new data for each um class okay right in two dimensional space this hyperplane is a line divide plane into two parts so basically uh the most important task for us find which line is the most suitable for dividing this two, right so as we did discuss earlier it could be this way it could be that way it could be all this way right it's it's, it's it could be many possibility but the thing is how to optimize this possible lines right so that would be a good discussion to be done okay so yes the separating those things i guess here right okay so uh in the past lecture session we did discuss about hard and soft margin right so um it depends on the the, the textbook that you referred uh the the uh depend on the, the thoughts on scholars that you are referring to so the, term, the terms has been used for the margin uh, would be hard margin and soft margin and some sort of uh, sometimes it could be like um, using the terminology as uh, what they call it uh, different ways. OK, in, in this particular slide, it, it, it wouldn't be the same as as the one that we did discuss uh, yesterday. OK, so if the line but at the end of the day, in, in the, if the line, this line refer to this line, maximize the distance between the class is identified, the probability general well unseen data is increased. So that would be preferable if we have the more, the bigger 
space or margin and then we can consider that the our hyperplane is optimal right so that would be our target okay so this one is could be like i said a large margin and small so the definition about hard and soft just now this one is a small margin one this one is a large margin so the larger margin respected to the hyperplane the better hyperplane for svm okay this one is better compared to this right because uh speaking of which this is a small one support vector to the line and support vector to the line is very small compared to that this uh these two okay okay so how to maximize it i think that would be okay for us uh uh this one i meant larger margin hard margin smaller margin soft margin okay so for today basically i will show um the um scenario of how we choose the hyperplane in several cases of of uh svm given in in this particular uh lecture session so i brought here five uh, particular scenario so the first one is here we have three hyperplanes a b and c okay so we have this now okay thing is identify the right hyperplane to classify the star and circle so this is would be the class one so this will be class so this and that okay so so by looking up this possibility we could say that we have three choices, either choosing an A, this line, B, that line, and C, this line. So as we did discuss just now, the line which has the most distance or gap or what we call it margin from the vector support, okay, will be considered as the optimal hyperplane that we choose. So, so the best, okay, excellent. So in this scenario, hyperplane B is the excellent uh, performing the classification in, in, in compared to A and C hyperplane because it has the uh maximum length compared to this one very minimum and this one basically happened to be a uh, misclassified kind of a uh, two circle red circle happened to be in the group of stars okay okay so for the scenario number two okay so here we have three same uh hyperplane a b and c but okay so the, this time around all the data are segregated uh segregating the classes to stars and circle right circle so which one is the better one then okay so for the this time around basically uh example this is this uh, ve support vector let's say so this distance and that distance is quite far okay right so that would be for b for a is this distance and this distance and this distance is is quite good because because uh they have both class um distance uh quite quite uh hard margin but for the a so just imagine that this for this one by this for that one okay so meanwhile the uh the star group to the a hyperplane is very far but the other one is this uh small okay for class b so it means that it is not a good um or an optimal hyperplane whereby here we might see or choose the C is the best one okay right um so this one is the uh, scenario number two okay we jump straight away jump to scenario number three guys okay. identify the right hyperplane for the scenario number three so given the stars are the similar but this time around we have this uh, kind of we call in the momentum as separated point but in machine learning we call it outlier or point okay so some of me selected hyperplane b okay this one as the high as it has higher margin of a okay so because by not looking at a b is basically uh this that and that here is the catch um svm select the hyperplane which classifies the class accurately prior the maximizing margin so here b has a classification error because of this um hold on uh because this one is included in this okay so therefore the for this reason in order to uh think of the best uh hyperplane is an a uh, still dividing uh the the uh the um data so not to not to mention as we have kind of a bit weird or we call it outlier over here so this stars supposedly to be exist this side.
but in this scenario for unfortunate one of the data alias one of the training data happen to be in this side okay not that side so what we do over here we call the we call the this one is totally as outlier so this one so we can do this by ignoring and find the hyperplane that maximize the margin. So by considering this would be outlier, so we still consider this one is still a good hyperplane for that particular case. Okay, for for this one having outlier one dot out uh data for outlier. All right. Okay, we straight away jump to the scenario number five, guys. Okay. So in this scenario, uh, we can we cannot have the linear hyperplane between the two classes because okay, let's say we do have this, we fail to describe this, but we also have this uh, red triangular thingy. Okay, so we can't do that. So that's the things that happen to be separating the 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 SVM by looking up to the uh, another level of linearity so to be as a non-linear. So that would be a next discussion. Okay. Okay. So so far, we did discuss about uh two type two kinds of um data. So one is linear and the other one is not linear. So non-linear. Okay. So the the. Uh, in the normal case of the data, basically, we could easily um, separate the linear data by utilizing SVM because that would be an easy task for recognizing them, either with the vertical one or the diagonal line one. Okay? So for not linearly separable, the, whereby, whereby we have the outlier in the middle, one case as the scenario number four, in its scenario number five, we have uh, a mixing uh, data for both classes because this is slice on the middle so it could be difficult to split it in a line okay so that will be types of data so far that we have okay so just now i mentioned about one thing uh hold on i try to try to work okay so the targets over here is to find the optimal line okay how we do it so basically, we we as we can see from the data itself, layers training data. So we might have four or five or six hyperplane that we have in hands or in our mind to do that. Okay. So, but eventually, um, it is not easy to decide it. So to do that, basically, we can uh do some maths for that. So we will talk about the we will discuss uh via using the linear SFM example for example number one. Okay. So just imagine that we have a coordinates of data by x and y coordinates in two dimension. So this is uh, x1, okay, it's not y, x, x2 by matrix. Eh? Okay, right. So we select three support vectors. Okay, remember guys, what is the three support vector? So support vector, uh, we did discuss in the previous uh, class, whereby the most important things in support vector machine is support vector, hyperplane, and margin right so one of those is support vector support vector means the most nearest point that lies data uh to the uh region that we kind of having line okay so meaning this this and this will be selected for our targeted hyperplan okay so we have three data points now okay so we say that the each of those is um considered as s1 s2 and s3 all right for the sake of optimal true hyperplane okay so then we give a, a location of uh, 2 one over here s1 eh? s2 over here and the s3 is over there okay so the location for this one is for zero uh two minus one and two one so right so that this is very simple so because of this uh the most the the nearest point to the targeted alias optimal um hyperplane so we choose three okay if we get four on in the line so basically you can add up four lah, eh? so but but we have three over here okay so the next one what we do is basically uh we will try to augment the uh location vector uh, vector location so because we we only do have x1 and x2 over here okay with one 
So remember, uh, we did discuss in uh, neuron for back propagation and neural network topics. So imagine that this is the neuron for input. Oh, sorry, this this one is a neuron. It's not the input. Okay. So remember the discussion we 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 did. We have the input, right? So P two. This is P one. Okay. So do you guys still remember about the B bias? So bias one. So along this way, um, we did discuss about W over here. This is weight, and this one is W. Okay. So in this particular idea, input and bias is working together. So similar as the V SVM. So over here, we still need to have the bias input in order to uh, make things um um in three dimensional kind of here. Okay. So we give the augmented bias as this one by one. So, but for the general speaking, uh, normally the bias is given as equal to one, guys. Right. So, for differentiating the normal um, S1 with the S1 with bias, basically we put it a tile, chill, tile, over tile. Tile is this sign, guys. This, eh? So without the bias classifier, we'll go, uh, go through the origin. So meaning origin. Okay. Okay. So SVM does not give you to separating hyperlink with the maximum margin if you did not happen to pass the original. Okay. Origin. So unless you have the bias term. So that would be the regulation happen to be uh, in SVM particularly. Right. Okay. So now we do two things. We, we, we do know two things. One is S1 and one is S1 till. Okay. So S1 is basically the location of every each point to 1 to 1 2 minus 1 4 0 and this one is with the bias itself especially 1 okay the next thing is um to find the linear equation for each ve uh, support vector so this one is support vector number 1 support vector number 2 support vector number 3 so find linear equation so how we did over here is to uh find the linear between these three by pulling the uh all the equation s minus one minus one for one class and plus one for other class the things that i mentioned earlier uh if we have the line so meaning this one is minus this one is plus uh stating that the this numbering uh shows their own class either class one so this is the idea of one one uh two one and three one one two 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 and three two one three 2, 3, and 3, 3. So it depends on the location that we try to find the, the vectors. Okay. So, so then we went to, to expand them uh, with the value that we have in hands. So S chill, S2 chill, and 3 chill. So as we can take a look at over here, for example, this. So alpha is stay as it is. So chill is this taken from here. So x1 is basically from here because the same okay two coming here but taken from here okay because of two one eh? so now three three so be careful of this um equation guys okay so this time around is uh four one and two one so then we have this uh first support vector point for the its linear equation so linear equation number two for support vector number two linear equation for support number uh, support vector number three okay so then we expand them uh by looking up to this way so this one is two one one become six uh four minus one one become four and eight zero one becomes nine so you just bring down this one as minus. So it repeats again and again by this and that one. So you have three lines over here. And then we try to simultaneously do the equation in uh, uh, the one that we have like, um, how to say, the, the signal uh, subject or the numerical uh, subject, what we call it different equation, solution, difference equation. So we try to find the um, 
solution for this particular uh, three equation. So at the end of the day, we find out that the alpha 1 and alpha 2, we have minus 0.3.25 and alpha 3 is 3.5 okay so what we do is we we pull back this value okay into one equation what we call it weight equation okay so summation alpha s still so what we do over here is um we bring down the alpha to here to here and to here and then we just uh utilize the s still for this particular moment here here and here so at the end we have this um uh vectors for w till okay so this is it for the adding the bias guys with the bias so in order to have uh the w without the bias basically we just put it this way right excluding the minus three okay this so 103 is the bias with the bias uh, uh, W. Okay. So our vector are augmented with a bias. So see, this one knows as a bias. So we can execute the entry of W till as the hyperplane with an offset B. So, so this particular bias will be as the offset of B in the hyperplane. Later on, we, we talk about that. So therefore, the separating hyperplane equation, okay, remember this one we did discuss in the early uh, chapter that we uh, discussed in, um, I think, in regression topics. So this is referred to this one, okay. And this one is depending on what location of the new data. Example, uh, I did mention earlier about uh, 3, 1, can and... 6, 2, uh, 6, 3, data green and blue. So that would be this place. So at the end of the day, the Y value, you can refer to my earlier, uh, in this video, earlier parts. At the end, we will have this value. Okay. Y. So in order to segregate them in class 1 or class 2. Guys. So the offset B is particularly uh, offset of the um from from the origin okay all right so here to do this basically we have uh w equal one zero so for for the sake of simplification one zero is basically if we have the coordinate location one zero means a straight vertical line okay so for the zero one hyperplane will be this one guys horizontal and when we have this the hyperplane will be oh sorry where is the green? This guys. Okay. It depends on but but the thing is uh the way that the uh it has been offset from the origin is basically depends on the value of B. So also this one. Okay. So it looks like the kecerunan uh the, the, the intersect of the y axis from the normal perspective of y equal m x plus c. Okay. So here, so one zero is is a vertical line over here. And the offset is 3. So meaning minus 3 is re reflected to this 3. Okay. So it is located at the 3 point. Okay. From the right hand side. Now, in order to confirm that the line is true or, or not true. Okay. Basically, we can uh, just do a kind of simulation of using 3, 1. So 3, 1 is basically here, right? On the line. Okay. So the moment that we put the location on the line with the y w t x minus b um equal to zero, okay. So basically the idea of having zero is there. So you need to make sure that the three one when you put in the equation have happened to be the value of zero, not one or minus one. Eh? Unless if you have the value, then uh your hyper your hyperplane is 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 not right. Okay. So then we put, we just pull the uh, weight that we have, uh, 1, 0, right? From here. Okay. The x is a 3, 1. So you just multiply them 3 uh, plus 0 minus 3. So meaning 3 minus 3 is 0. So then the hyperplane is, is good to go. Okay. So this is our hyperplane. So example. So this is example number 2. Draw and calculate the hyperplane that produce maximum margin for the sample figure 3. So, um, if we take a look over here, it could be this way. 
um maybe eh? or this way or that way okay it depends okay so then we try to pull oh, okay let's say this one is the support vector for here for that for that you pull three points and then uh do uh the same thing that we have on the um example number one so we just add the bias for one so things like this and we add alpha s1 s1 alpha 2 s2 s1 and so on similar so we decide the um, group okay minus one at the left and uh positive s s on the right hand side of the hyperplane so we have this and we do it the same thing we expand the three linear equation for that one and finally we get the uh, alpha 1 and alpha 3 every each is the same okay then we uh, don't forget to uh, sum for all the um, alpha that we have with the um, s teal so later on we have 1 0 minus 2 right so 1 0 means vertical minus 2 means to the right plus 2 so that's the reason why we have the plane over here so speaking of the uh, diagonal line for maximizing the margin hyperplane so we have two points over here so up to the end basically we have okay this is what the one that i mentioned earlier one one so one one is this and this one is three meaning it it is happening to be like one two and three so three steps to the uh, right hand side from the origin eh? So, but but that that the step is considered as the di diagonal. Okay, this one is the exercise for the, for you guys to do at home. Okay, thank you guys for watching NMZ has channel. Hopefully, you can get um knowledge and benefit from the videos. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.